Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my advice for wedding dress shopping. Shopping for your wedding dress is such an exciting part of wedding planning. That feeling I had when I found my dream dress was amazing. But the process can be stressful and there's a lot to think about before you even step into that first dress. I got married six months ago. I seriously can't believe it's been that long. It went by so fast. But this was my wedding dress. I felt so confident and comfortable in it on my wedding day and I danced the night away at the reception. Plus, I really like the way my dress looks in pictures too. It's definitely my dream dress and I hope these tips and my advice can help you find your dream dress too. Start shopping for your dress early. It can take up to eight or 10 months if you're getting a custom dress and you don't wanna cut it close. If you have a short engagement, start looking for your dress right away. And if you have a longer engagement, make sure that you don't put it off too long. When you're wedding planning, time can get away from you so fast. There's so much to do. So make sure that you make shopping for your wedding dress a priority. I had about a year and a half engagement and I started shopping for my dress at about the one year mark and I got it just about a month before my wedding. So I'm really glad I started early. Also, if you're trying to lose weight for your wedding, don't put off dress shopping just because you wanna look slimmer before you start trying on dresses. You can always get your dress taken in if you lose weight and it's better to just start shopping as you are. Before you make any appointments, start with a dress inspiration board. Scroll through Pinterest and pin any dresses that pique your interest. This can be a really broad search. You don't have to pinpoint exactly what you want, but it is a good place to start with figuring out things that you like and things that you don't like in a wedding dress. There are so many different types of wedding dresses. When you're starting your search on Pinterest, this is a good time to start thinking about the style of dress that you want. Do you want a ball gown, tea length, chiffon, vintage lace? Make sure to keep the other aspects of your wedding in mind when you're choosing a dress style. Things like your venue, colors, decor, the season that you're getting married in. If you're having a shabby chic outdoor barn wedding, maybe a satin ball gown isn't the way to go, but vintage lace would work perfectly. In addition to the style of your dress, start thinking about shapes. What dress shapes do you feel confident and comfortable in? What flatters your figure? Mermaid, A-line, trumpet, ball gown. I've always been a fan of fit and flare dresses. I think they're flattering on my curvy figure. So going into dress shopping, I was pretty certain that I wanted an A-line dress. Something fitted on top that would flatter my chest, but wasn't too revealing, and then flare out at my waist to accentuate that hourglass figure. Once you know what dress shapes you like, it really narrows down your options and makes the search a lot easier. Once you've got a general idea of what you want, make a dress shopping appointment. And once you've chosen the bridal salon, see if they have an online catalog that you can browse and pick some specific styles that you wanna try on when you go shopping. If you have specific dresses in mind that you already know that store has in stock, it's a really good place to start when you go into your appointment. Before you start trying on dresses, make sure that you set a price and communicate that price to your consultant at the bridal shop. It would be heartbreaking to fall in love with that perfect dress, have that say yes moment, and then realize that it's way out of budget. And don't try on any dresses that are over that budget. Don't put on a dress that you wouldn't be willing to pay that price tag for because only bad can come from that. Who should you bring to your wedding dress shopping appointment? Every wedding magazine or website will tell you just to bring one or two people, keep it small so there aren't too many opinions. But I went completely against that. I brought 10 people to my dress shopping appointment. Yeah, I know it's a lot. I know it's a little extra, but I'm so glad I did. I was surrounded by a group of amazing ladies who I love. They were so supportive and made me feel confident and comfortable and beautiful. And they all shared their opinions without trying to sway me too much. I think it's definitely one of those situations where you have to know your crowd and also know yourself. You don't wanna end up with a dress that you don't love just because too many people pressured you into it. So maybe don't invite your most opinionated friend or the aunt who comments on your weight at Christmas time. Are you a people person like me or do you prefer to be alone and not have too much attention on you? If that's the case, then maybe just bring one or two people. Keep it low key so that you don't get too stressed out. Wedding dress shopping doesn't have to be a huge event, but it can be if you want it to. Do what's gonna make you feel most comfortable when you're trying on dresses and don't feel like you have to invite your whole bridal party if that's not you. The day of your wedding dress shopping appointment, do some primping. Spend a little extra time on your hair and makeup. On your wedding day, you're probably gonna be all dolled up, so it'll help give you that like full vision when you're trying on dresses. Plus, I don't know about you, but when I feel hot, when I'm looking good, I feel so much more confident and confidence makes dress shopping so much easier. Don't think twice about the size of your wedding dress. Bridal sizes are typically smaller than street sizes. I'm usually a size 10 and I bought my 
wedding dress in a size 14. It's a completely arbitrary number on the inside of tag that no one's ever gonna see, so don't worry about it at all. The most important thing is that your dress fits you, not a random number on the inside of a label. So don't downsize just because you want a smaller number, just get a dress that fits. When you're trying on dresses at the salon, have a friend take pictures in each dress that you try on. It's easier to narrow down your decision when you can easily swipe through the options and compare each dress. At your appointment, make sure to tell your consultant any make or break things for you before they start pulling dresses. The consultants know what to look for. It's their job. They know the type of dresses they have in stock, so you definitely want to try on the things they pull. But if you'd never even consider a strapless dress, make sure to let them know that so they don't waste time. Is a high neck a must? Are you only interested in lace? Are bedazzled dresses a huge no-no for you? Communicate those make or break dress aspects with your consultant and the appointment will go so much smoother. Don't be afraid to say yes if you know you found your perfect dress. Oh my gosh, that rhymed. You might feel the need to try on 50 dresses just to make sure that that one dress is perfect, but if the dress feels right, don't be afraid to say yes. I ended up finding my perfect dress at my first appointment. It was the fifth dress that I tried on. I actually had two more appointments at different bridal shops that same day and I was hesitant to cancel them, but that dress was perfect and I'm really glad I went with it. Trying on more dresses at more shops would have just complicated my decision and made me second guess myself. So I'm really glad I just said yes when I found a dress that I liked. And on that same note, it's totally okay to not find a dress on your first try. Don't settle. Take the time to find a dress that's right for you, that you love, and you feel confident in it because you only get to get married once, so you gotta find the perfect dress. The day I went wedding dress shopping, I actually vlogged the whole process. So if you wanna check that out, you can click that card right up there or the link in the description. Also, I'll have my whole wedding planning series and my actual wedding day video linked in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope these tips help you to find your dream dress and I will see you on Friday. Bye.